Well, last night saw another peaceful protest in Rapid City demanding justice for George Floyd, the black man who died while in police custody in Minneapolis. Rapid City officers did arrest five people because they reportedly were blocking traffic and laying down in the road. Kettle and Sydney Thorson shows us how the city and businesses are responding to the protests. Over the last few nights, protesters have gathered in front of the courthouse and Main Street Square. That's right across from Negabauer's jewelry store. So far, we haven't been closing early, but it hasn't been happening until after we close. Now, if that starts to change, then obviously we'll, we'll need to make some changes, not only for the safety of our store and our employees, but also for our, our customers. On Monday night, June 1st, the City Council passed a resolution giving authority to the mayor to declare an emergency and issue a curfew. Now, some businesses have decided to shut their doors a little bit earlier than normal, and some businesses have decided to barricade their windows, like you see behind me here. We also have to plan for the worst. We have seen these protests, even in South Dakota, get out of hand, and we have felt the last three nights of protests that these are getting to be closer to, to getting out of hand. Mayor Allender says several times they've seen different people infiltrate the protest group and try to take over. Uh, last night as I was lis listening to one of the people live streaming, one of the original organizers, I heard fear in their voice, I heard disappointment, I heard them pleading with the crowd to remain peaceful and don't let this get carried away. And then I heard this person conclude that control had been lost. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Rapid City Mayor Steve Allender says that the extra staffing of law enforcement is costing tens of thousands of dollars a day, which comes from taxpayer money.